Um, so my name is Kira Schatt, and I am a member here at First Hamilton CRC. We are in our, our sanctuary currently, and I'm also a recent graduate of Redeemer University, where I studied a double major in Biblical and Theological Studies and Social Work. Today, we meet with Kira to discuss Hearts Exchanged, a learning and action journey for the CRC to build reconciling relationships alongside Indigenous peoples. This program features honest dialogue about the harms of colonialism and hearts broken stories and experiences. Through this learning, our churches will be renewed as communities of reconciliation and belonging. Hearts Exchange is not like second tier discipleship. Like this is at the core of the questions we have to be asking as people of faith. It's allowing us to wrestle with all of the, you know, the paradoxes of, you know, lament and hope and destruction and restoration and sin and redemption and division and reconciliation. And these, I think they're, they're the core paradoxes of the Christian life. When we talk about the history of Indigenous peoples and Christians in this country, there's a lot of material to work with, but we haven't done, or I haven't done, a lot of deep diving into, like, what is my story personally? What is our denomination's story? And so I think Hearts Exchange also gave me a window into that. This is happening in my context, in the denomination that I currently call home with people that I'm surrounded by and we're all wrestling together about what does reconciliation mean not in this big abstract sense, but what does it mean here? What does it mean now? What does it mean for us as a community? I've been learning a lot about the fact that decolonization and reconciliation are not about me having gotten things right or me getting things right. They're a continual process of learning and formation. And reconciliation is not about improving my self-perception or improving others' perception of me. It's not performative. It has to be, it has to be genuine, it has to be humble, and it has to require vulnerability of me. One thing um, that has really stuck with me is a story that was shared when we watched a video of Marie Sinclair, the chair of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and former Canadian senator, and he was talking about a scene that he had witnessed where um, an elder in his community was talking to a group of young people and there was a young person in the crowd who raised their hand and, and asked this really poignant question. He asked, why do Christians hate us? And the elder said, they don't. If Jesus Christ were here with us right now, he would sit around the fire with us because he would know that we already know his father. And I think then from that story, this vision that I have for myself in the process of reconciliation is how do I become a person who enters spaces ready to sit around the fire and to imagine and get excited about the fact that there are people sitting there with me no matter how much we might or might not have in common who have a lot to teach me about who the creator is and if i can enter spaces anticipating that i think that just changes how we can have this conversation how we can engage in reconciliation and i think that makes me really excited and so i think that image is just one i think that captures the heart of what hearts exchange meant to me and what i hope to carry forward from the experience yeah, I would certainly recommend Hearts Exchange to anyone in our denomination or in any way affiliated with our denomination. Hearts Exchange is such a gift in allowing you to wrestle with these things. Um, and I'm so excited to see what comes of this learning journey.